Coach Ciotti taught me how to tackle. Once he taught me how to tackle and how to take on a blocker, I began to feel like I could really play this game. This attitude that you can't quit, that's what I felt from Coach Ciotti. It didn't matter your skill level, it just mattered about your heart. I don't know what other teams did in terms of practice, but I know our practices were very, very tough. I'd be dead tired, but I'd have to get out there on the practice field. I wanted to go home. Doing up-downs and doing laps and, and drills over and over and over again. And in the mud and in the wind and in the cold and in the rain. And it was tough, but I think it was Coach Ciotti that just knowing that he believed in me and believed in us, that kept me going. He got every penny worth out of me. I was born in Harlem, but I basically grew up in Washington Heights section. When I was 12 years old, we relocated to the South Bronx, and the South Bronx in the 1970s was really a hard place to be. You know, buildings were burned out. There was a lot of heroin addiction and, and robberies and crime was rising high. My dad was a really smart guy, but um, he wasn't around long enough, you know, because he passed away at that time when I was 12 and 71, for me to really um, learn as much as I might have been able to learn from him. I uh, was a good student. That's when I met my English teacher in junior high school, and she told my mother that your son Barry is very, very smart, but he, he's hanging out with some of the wrong people. And if he takes this test for this program that I'm telling you about called ABC and he passes it, he'll have a chance to go and get a better education away from this environment. I remember the greenery. I remember the serenity of the town. It was so far removed from the burnout buildings in the South Bronx. I loved playing football as a kid, but we played football in the streets. Playing on strong field, to me, that meant like, hey, this is serious business. It was a place that was electric. It was proof that the town and the community really was invested in the Tigers. And playing under those lights, it was just a spark of inspiration in my head. We knew when we were on that field, we were getting it done, all of us together. My pain was your pain. Your pain is my pain. Your exhaustion was my exhaustion. We're all in this together, and you're gonna come away with a win. We gotta do this because this is expected. After losing my dad, Coach Ciotti became the first inspirational person that I encountered as a father figure. He taught me, you can believe in yourself, and you can do the hard thing. With a heart of courage, you can be a champion. And I, I really thank God for that.